Opening his party's Ardesh in Dublin this evening, the Fianna Foyle leader Bertie Ahern said there would be no place in Fianna Foyle for anyone who sought money from Ben Dunn. He said this applied no matter how eminent the person involved or the extent of their prior services to the country. Mr. Ahern added that the person being openly referred to was entitled to a presumption of innocence. Last night, RTE's primetime programme said the tribunal inquiring into the Dunn's affair had served discovery documents on the former Fianna Foyle leader, Charles Hawhey. Fianna Foyle is refusing to let the continuing allegations in the Dunn stores affair cast a shadow over their Ardesh. And in a tough speech tonight, Bertie Ahern moved to clearly distance his party from the personalities and events at the centre of the controversy. The position of himself and his colleagues was quite clear, he said. Participation in public life was about public service, not self-service or the sustaining of a certain lifestyle. It is the Oireachtas and ultimately the people who decide what our political leaders and representatives are paid and who provide them with appropriate facilities. And even if in the particular instance there were no favours sought or given, we could not condone the practice of senior politicians seeking or receiving from a single donor large sums of money or services in kind, be they Fianna Gael or Fianna Fáil or the former Workers' Party, now mostly Democratic left. Mr. Ahern said to his mind it was just as unacceptable to seek a million or half a million pounds from the Soviet Communist Party as to seek it from Ben Dunn. It created unacceptable obligations. And certainly, and let us be quite clear, there would be no place in our party today for that kind of past behaviour, no matter how eminent the person involved or the extent of their prior services to the country. But equally, <laughs> but equally, the person now being openly referred to, like the humblest citizen in the land, is entitled to a presumption of innocence. Throughout his speech, Mr. O'Hare never once mentioned the name of Charles Hawhey, but he made a strong appeal for the withholding of judgment on all the issues until the tribunal had completed its work. Our political editor, Donal Kelly, joins us now from the RDS. Donal, what was the delegate's response to that very strong speech from Bertie Ahern? Well, Mr Ahern was given an enthusiastic uh, reception when he arrived in the hall to make what was the toughest opening Ardesh speech I have heard for quite a long time. Uh, he moved very quickly to draw a steel curtain, as it were, between the party he leads today and the party that is at the centre of all the allegations that are floating around at the moment in relation to the Dunn's affairs. And it was noticeable that the delegates hung on to his every word in that passage. Uh, there was strong applause when he said there was no place in the modern Fianna Foyle uh, for that behaviour. But there was equally some sympathetic applause when he said there should be no judgments made and people should withhold judgments until after the tribunal had completed its work. Still, of course, politics is very much about perception. Uh, is the Dunn's affair going to cast a shadow over the entire proceedings of the Ardesh? Well, I would think that there are many in, in Fianna Foyle who are waiting with trepidation for the papers over the next few days. But uh, the organisers here in the party hierarchy are adamant that it will not be allowed to cast a shadow over the Ardesh. It is, nevertheless, a talking point uh, among delegates, and it is obviously a talking point uh, with the media. But they're determined to put it to one side. This is a different Fianna Foyle, they say, and this is a different Fianna, this is a Fianna Foyle that is preparing for the election, and that's what this Ardesh is all about. Yes, well, we've already had a strong whiff of election fever in the last week or two. Uh, do the delegates seem buoyed up for the fray? Well, the whole purpose of this, Ardesh, of course, uh, given that it could be within two or three weeks of an election campaign, is to galvanise delegates, the party activists, send them back to the constituencies, eager to work, as Fianna Fáil would see it, for the return of the party uh, to power. And tomorrow night, uh, Mr Ahern will obviously make uh, the address about the pussies which Fianna Foyle will take uh, into the election and the whole thing, the weekend, is the springboard for Fianna Foyle uh, into this uh, pre-summer campaign. Donal, thank you for joining us. The Tribunal of Inquiry has refused to comment on whether or not Mr Hawhey has complied with an order for discovery of documents. It's understood the former Taoiseach was asked to comply with the request by today. Mr Dunn is due to give evidence to the Tribunal on Monday. 
The disclosure on RTE's primetime programme last night confirms earlier reports in the Sunday Tribune, the Sunday Times and yesterday's Daily Star that Ben Dunn will name the former Taoiseach Charles Hohey as the recipient of over £1 million from the former supermarket tycoon. For the past few months, close associates of Mr Dunn have been making clear that the businessman will tell all to the McCracken Tribunal when it gets fully underway next Monday. Primetime revealed last night that an order of disclosure was served on Mr Hohey last Friday. Meanwhile, Fianna Fáil say they're not embarrassed by any of these disclosures. We called for the establishment of this tribunal in the first place so that the truth would out. Now, as far as the pending general election is concerned, there isn't a single Fianna Fáil candidate implicated in the reports we've seen to date and the speculation we've seen to date about this tribunal. The government is not in a very strong position in this. The uh, Fine Gael party appears uh, to have received a total of about £700,000 between the party and various individuals in it. Uh, the Labour Party also received uh, money from the same source. Uh, it uh, goes much wider than just Fianna Fáil. The Taoiseach was also asked to comment on the media reports. We are, have a coalition arrangement with the Labour Party and the Democratic Left and we hope and indeed expect that that government will be returned to office in the election. And it's a government that's working very well. Other parties may have to look at the implications of things that will come out for themselves. But until those things come out, uh, we shouldn't make any uh, conclusions about that because I think we, we should hear what has to be said and assess it. Last Friday, the Tribunal of Inquiry made an order for discovery of documents against Mr. Hohey. It's understood they gave the former Fianna Fáil leader a week in which to comply with the order.